this is the Terminator within Windows and I'm gonna be playing with uh, the Terminator in Windows uh, with install first of Cywin and also Ruby on Rails so if you also wanna you know do that if you know if you don't then you can leave it out of the installation uh, you can go to the website and in the website I'll show you how to set up properly uh, the Terminator if you need more help um, we're there to help you uh, you don't have to become a member to just you know come and read and you know download and and actually read what others post and everything but you have to be a member to contribute or to ask questions <clears throat> and this is in the VMware I'm using Backtrack 4R2 version and this is and this is on the VMware and now back to the Terminator uh, Everything that I have and are that can use for the Terminator will be in will will be in the website of how I set it up. Like like LS like not the LS but the clear. And <clears throat> if you want to run like regular uh, uh, command prompt commands within Windows, you can also use the Terminator for that. Like the net stat, make of Aven. And the IP config all. So there's all the settings for my network and the network for my virtual machine. Also, you can uh, use use uh, an an editing program within here within uh, the Terminator that Windows just does not offer anymore in the 64-bit. Uh, the one that it used to offer in the 32-bit was edit and it doesn't have it on here so if, you know you're very fond of it and I would suggest you know installing this and then installing nano or V I'm too lazy to learn V but nano is actually great for new beginners V is a little more complicated not really but for new new users <clears throat> it is you know pain in the ass I can't remember most of the commands and at least nano has a little thing I'll show you right now uh, first let me show you what I mean about Windows and here we're gonna run as administrator so as you can see you know even through administrator there's no such thing as edit in the 64 bit if you're fond of it see nothing if you're fond of edit then you're pretty much screwed but basically what Windows says anyways let's go to nano and there it is you can actually uh, like put any type of text you want to edit something or you want to open up something nano is actually pretty nice so you nano and then the name of it uh, control X that's that's that little cone that's pointing up with the X and it says exit so we're gonna exit out of the 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 editor, and then we want to change the information. Uh, we want to uh, save the information. We're gonna type yes, no. If you don't, uh, then we want to name it cmd. Dot bat. We gotta give it an extension because you can put in any type of extension within Nano. So once we have the name cmd. Dot bat for me, we press enter, and then we list whatever's in there and as you can see there it is cmd.bat we can actually edit back into it like nano cmd.bat and then there it is again then we can actually delete or add or something like that we press control x again if there's if there's uh, no new information uh, then nothing will happen but if there's new information then nano will ask if you want to save the, the new uh, data that you put into it uh, you can also remove and everything in there so the rm cmd dot bat and then we list it and where where the hex dump was at we got the cmd the bat is gone so we can also remove directories rm dir I'm gonna help you with that and and if it says if it says a file file is empty or something like that, you can actually add the tag tag ignore um, minus fail on non-empty. Ignore each failure and so on. And you know you can read 
you can come and read it. Uh, you can go to the website and I'll show you how to install all this stuff. SSH, Ruby, to install the Terminator, Sagwin and Ruby. Uh, Ruby is inside the Sagwin and I'll show you how to do Ruby on Rails, which you'll have to configure and stuff like that. I believe so far for my functions, uh, this this is the most complete uh, uh, Sidewind install with the Terminator, and you know, being able to highlight, copy, paste, and I'll show you within Sidewind. And as you can see in Sidewind, we can have the normal listings and you know do the normal things, but we can't copy and paste and stuff like that, which you know some commands be a little more bigger. Uh, I also put the make. Make is in there. So if you want to install like uh, a, I don't know, some program and you, there's a make, you can configure stuff, but there's nothing to configure because, you know, I'm not in a program that I'm starting to install. That I want to install, you can actually use the make, the, the make with the, with, with the taxi that will change the directory so you can, you know, uh, if you have more than one program you want to install, you use the make and then tag capital C because that's how it's the the program is written, and then the directory, and then that's it, and then the and 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 to do another one. You know, you're a smart person. You know what you're doing, and you know everything's like it's like mixing. It's like having Windows with the Unix and the Linux commands. The versatility that you wouldn't have with CMD now into Windows. This is like power to your computer. I can also shut down. I have this for a little fun. So you can shut down, you can force, you can reboot, hibernate, suspend, and you know, you can come and read all this. Uh, you can also SSH. That's secure something. I forget what. And I, I just remember the first letter. <laughs> secure something. I know some people, you know, make fun of me and say, "Well, secure this and that." Well, good for you. Shut the fuck up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mean. <laughs> I'm just acting mean. <laughs> Anyways, uh, SSH help. I'm gonna use the bottom command, like SSH root at. And then the host name or the network IP, that's the IP that your router gives to you, not the one that you're using for your internet. There's two types of IP. You should know that because you're smart, right? Anyways, I'm going to use the one on my virtual machine because I'm over here. In, I'm over, I'll show you. I'm over here in Linux. So I'm going to log into that one. And notice how it says root at heart. And over here it says cure my mind at dragon slash PC and the 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 router gave me this this one so 192.168.16.128 now you can't hack me unless you're in my network which you'd have to live close to me so I can bust you <laughs> anyways so with that said, let's go into it. Now you get a, you know, the first time and you press YES and you press enter. But since I've already gone through that process and you can find a lot of YouTube videos on how, to, how, how it shows up and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Now you type in your password. Of course, it's not going to show up. But when you press enter, it's going to go in there. So as you can see, I'm at that one, root heart. And I'll show you. I have my documents and settings, compact wireless, shared files, whoops, didn't mean to click on it, uh, I got Wi-Fi wi SH, or wi Wi-Fi, or whatever you want to call it, Wi-Fi, whatever, I got those files, so let's see if they're in there, LS, and they are, there's my documents, shared folders, compact wireless, and the that those two files that I just mentioned that I can pronounce for some odd reason. <clears throat> and I can delete, 
I can use the rm function to delete the rmdir to delete a directory which is you know also known as a folder I can move things around I can do whatever I want I can actually copy uh, S, uh, to copy an SSH SCP which is you know secure copy that's what the S stands for and the CP stands for copy and then the, you would use the same command as you would do to log in so root root at um, then the IP that you know the network IP that you know the router gives to you and then you would use here my mind that's me here that I'm you know trying to transfer files to me uh, at the IP that I have for my for this one on, on my router and then oh I, um, just a little weird right now colon and then the the you know the path to the file and here you'd put colon and then the directory where you want to put that file so here you put in the file name or over here you put the directory or you can put in the directory and you know copy the same file name whatever so over here is the remote computer and over here is the one that you are currently on and that's how you would copy you know transfer files between the two computers <coughs> and voila you can actually clear I actually show you how to how to um you know move the all the commands from the terminator on this computer on the computer you're on to the remote computer so you can actually use all the SSH commands and stuff like that and to get out simply just press exit logged out connection to has been closed and remember this IP address is not the IP address for my internet so you can't log in through remote access somewhere on there you have to actually be close and on my network which I can just spot you I go on my router and spot you on the spot I know I know who's on it and stuff like that so no funny business if you live next to me but anyways uh, what do you guys think uh, do you guys like it you can come to the websites I show you I show you how I set up my uh, the Terminator Cygwin and the Terminator I show you how I set it up and what tools that I put in there to make it very functional like the shutdown uh, I push I put help I put help so you can force shut down reboot hibernate suspend you know that's the P the H the R the S you can read it pretty much right right as I make this video and I like it cuz you go into CMD and you can't nan you can't use the editor within CM within the command prompt in Windows because 64 bit operating systems are not supported not supported wow I'm slurring here. Anyways, uh, install install Cygwin, install Terminator, so you can you know all the all the Terminator preferences. You can actually go to Edit Preferences. I like I like my width to be at a hundred. I like my 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 terminal height to be at twenty five. I like uh, the blinking cursor. I like some transparency, not a lot. I like uh, my these are the colors that I use. The background colors, black. If you have it white, you can. You you have to reset once once you reset the background color. You'll have to uh, shut down Terminator and then restart it up again. So you know, doesn't look kind of funny. And then I like my cursor blue and the the text. That's the lemony green over here. I like that green and then the highlight. When I highlight, I I like it. I like it red. So when I highlight, it looks red. Well, anyways, this is uh, Cure My Mind saying go screw yourself and I don't know. Well, goodbye, world.